he asks you on a date, which means he's paying for you. Not two. Not blue. Or Drew Skadoo. Stop it. No. What to do? We back. Actually, we're here to solo this video. You feel me? Shout out to Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. Dude's a goon. He's tough. You feel me? Um, you know, I watch, me and my girl watch a few of his videos. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty interesting. He do be making a lot of women mad. It'd be so funny. But at the end of the day, some of these women, I have a, he has a reason to talk about them. But other times, I do be getting a little confused with his logic. But at the same time, like I said, I mean, it is a man versus woman world at this moment as of right now. I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take for them to um, come to a common ground. I don't think it ever will. But the title is Women Demands Man Buy Food for Her Bastard Children. What? Next time a man calls me beautiful, I'm not going to be like, oh, thank you. I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> you're gonna be like, you're beautiful. I think you're so beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Give me the phone. You're hearing it <laughs> straight from the horse's mouth. Gentlemen, why are you still keep calling them beautiful? <laughs> I'm even at this stage of the point of the game. We've been telling y'all for how long now? Stop doing it, because that's what they be thinking about y'all. All right? You think, oh, let me just shower her with compliments, because that's what my mama told me to do. Meanwhile, yes, bitch. I know. Don't do it. You have gone and done it anyways. You are going to pay. You are Your ruining it. Your validation doesn't mean shit. Your validation means absolutely nothing to these modern women today. But this is where we are. Like, and these are the leaders. These are what the, these are what the young modern women are looking at. See, but here's where they get messed up at is because although she is an attractive young woman, she also has talent, <laughs> right? So there's a lot of women out there that don't have any talent whatsoever, but these are their leaders. And I mean, it's nine times, out of ten, nine times out of 10 is because they know how they look. And, but then again, they want it. So I'm, I'd be so confused. It's like, you want the attention, but you don't want the attention. Make it make sense. Like, I, I don't understand. You know you look good, but you don't want the men to tell you you look good. But how do you expect to get the man that you want if you don't want him to give you compliments? Do you not want the attention? What do you want? I'm confused. I think that they can do the exact same things and treat men the exact same way. And then they wonder why so many young men are saying, see ya, and going abroad. At the end of the day, men want to go places where they feel appreciated and respected. And not only are men just so not used to receiving compliments, but now when we give compliments, we get shed on. I asked my followers what was the best compliment that they've ever received from a woman. If you want to know what men value, Pay attention. You have a good heart. Thank you for making me feel safe. I feel like you bring a light and strength wherever you go. I'd love to make a child with you. You'd make a great father. Thank you for taking such good care of us. How does it feel to be the most handsome man in the room? I'm proud to be by your side. Without you, this family wouldn't be what it is today. Mm. What broke my heart are the men who said that they couldn't recall the last time they received it. Just listening to the couple of ones that her viewers submitted, I actually feel a lot more happier regarding my day right now. It's funny how certain words can drive men to be inspired to be bigger, better, faster, stronger throughout their day. But the truth of the matter is, is that most men don't hear these things, let alone one man hearing all of these things. I mean, because that, that's really all it takes for real. Like, we don't really want much but support. And that's really all we need for real because we are the driving force. Like we do, like I said, we do have pride. Um, we want to, we want to know that what we're doing is okay. And it's the right way to go. You feel me? Sometimes we just need that support. That's all we really look for. Society has trained men not to value themselves. Just think about all of the hardworking, savage blue collar workers out there that without them, we wouldn't have the basic needs and necessities to feel comfortable throughout our day. The average woman today, doesn't even value that type of man. That's why I will continue to support and uplift hard-working dudes that's out there. I see ya. And at the end of the day, I think more content like this placed in front of women that actually want masculine men will do more better than not. I mean, at this I mean, same goes for the women too who do want to work hard as well. You feel me? Like, the hard-working women do deserve that support as well because now we're in a modern time where 
women want to work too. Now, the ones who are respectable modern women, give them that support. You feel me? At this point, in this day and age, women do want it too. The hardworking ones. I'm going to keep repeating that. The hardworking ones. Not the ones who who think that <laughs> sexual, sexually displaying themselves on social media is hardworking. It's not hardworking. That's easy. But, you know. As high as everything is, I am willing to have a living roommate that I have sexual intercourse with and um, help me pay for things. Um, I don't know if I'm quite ready to call that a partner, but we will be we will have some type of relationship. Um, it may not be the relationship that you're looking for because I don't I don't know if I want to say that I'm in a relationship but we'll work that out at a later time but as of right now it is very critical that i get someone in my household <laughs> groceries high gas high yeah I just... <laughs> huh <laughs> Just come on. She said it's very critical that I get sold in my household. So what she's saying is, is that I don't mind no one touching me, but I do need help with the bills. <laughs> Yo, city girls ambassadors, come through. We got to have a word with y'all. Your girl is slipping. But on the real though, you know someone is that serious when they hold the damn camera that close to their face. So I feel like before we sign on this lease agreement, man, we got to at least see from the neck down. You know what I'm saying? First of all, don't, don't be in a spot if you can't afford it yourself. Do you want to be modern or traditional? Which one are you trying to be? You want your own spot or do you want to share, but you don't want a relationship, but you're... Okay, the, the, now the question, I don't know if she said this already. Did she say that she wanted a man in there or a woman in there? I think that's the underlying question. But, I mean, the topic says, the, 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 the caption says, lady said she don't want a relationship, but wants a roommate with benefits. That in itself is explaining that she wants a man there. But you want a roommate with benefits that you can't afford. But you want him to do it because you want it and you don't want the relationship. Um, you're asking the opposite gender to be in a home that he pays bills in, but you want the benefits with him. We got to know what we signing up for at the end of the day. Right. But what's crazy is that this, probably unknowingly to a lot of you dudes out there, as many of y'all relationships today, some of you dudes, not pointing any fingers, y'all have y'all wallets all out, not even realizing that she's utilizing you for resource extraction until she finds an upgrade. Can't, can't have it both ways. If you want to be taken care of financially, then take care of it in that laundry room and in that kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you want you still want that old fashioned ways? Yeah. If you All can right, we'll get in that laundry room and in that kitchen. <laughs> Makes sense to me. I agree. No objection. <laughs> but you cooked a few meals. What would you do to take oh, care I can of him in exchange? Hmm? I can think of other ways. Tell me. <laughs> you really want me to say? Yeah. It? <laughs> Don't tell me she' about to be nasty. Um, as far as the bedroom? In the bedroom, oh, that, you would do that to be taken care of? That's prostitution. No. <laughs> That's a fact. Not, no, that no. Is. When no, you say not. taking care of you, you're referring to financially taking care of you. Can somebody please tell the entire fan base of the Glorillas, the Cardi B's, and the city girls, and whatever culture they're finding strong, independent women to come to the front of the congregation. If all that you bring to the table is just your insides, then you are a talentless loser <laughs> that deserves nothing else but the strip. Yes, I'm referring to all of you. I am the table women, okay? Learn what men want and gain your skill set in what that they want. That's hilarious. Your insides are a commodity. The Hub, OnlyFans, and Instagram should have taught you that. I find it so hilarious how many of these modern women today require men to be traditional in nature, but all that they know how to do in return is to microwave tube stone pizzas 
It provides you dry marital insight. And, and, and it's funny because she literally said, I have other ways. Like, that sounded hard, bro. I mean, if that's the type of man you want, you got to be able to do other things. He's not wrong. Sorry, but the, the only thing you said was the bedroom. Why'd you say other things when you said the laundry room and the kitchen? You want to be taken care of, so you got to provide him with something besides what's in the bed because he got to provide that too. Whatever happened to the good old days of foot rubs and Sunday casseroles and clean homes, huh? But instead, that's been replaced by a culture of women that will lead based off of their insides, but expect you not to look at them like sex objects. Oh, boy. Oh, your kids. You already had me wait an hour and a half. So it's for my kids. Real kids. Yeah, you owe me that. Mm -hmm. Is that with their daddy? <laughs> no, that is. Oh, my God. So... Go ahead and bring another steak and some uh, potatoes. Okay. No, nah, I'm not bringing no potatoes. I'm not bringing a check. I'm paying for I'm paying for my meal and your meal. I'm not paying and for your kids, kids' meal. meal. No. Yes, you are. No, I'm not paying for oh their kids' God. meal. No, no. So you don't think you owe me after having me wait an hour and a half? I told you I owe you. I owe you when I take you out okay. again. So you're gonna pay for my kids' food? No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. Hold on, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Why are you trying to bring two, please? What's in there, Kira? Why should I do that, Kira? Stay out of it, waitress. All right? Yeah, because at this point, the waitress lost her mind. I do get, well, no, I'm not going to say she lost her mind, because she is a waitress. But, nine times out of ten, if two, both parties don't agree with it, then you can't do it. You, you I mean, I, I it, it, it's a hard situation. I do, I do see that she's in the middle. The waitress is in the middle, but he don't owe you anything. He had you waiting an hour and a half. Okay, so what? But that don't mean he need to pay for your kids too. His, that's not his responsibility. He asked you on a date, which means he's paying for you, not two, not blue or Drew do. Stop it. No, he's paying for you. Yo, go back and look at her stance back here. Wow. You just gonna judge my man like that? <laughs> Yo. Yo, this is the sister code live in 3D. You know what I'm saying? Outside of logic, outside of anything that makes sense, outside of rationality, steep deep with delusion. Oh, man. You know, sit here for an hour and a half, pay for her children. How does that even make sense? <laughs> Get over How does here. That even make sense. Mama. If you broke, just say you broke. <laughs> Yo. Nah, it don't even matter. It don't even matter if she broke or not. He don't owe her no food for the kids. Regardless, bro. Like, she looking mad. You look mad and your waitress over there laughing. <laughs> she probably laughing at the fact that he, he she thinks, she probably think he cute and he, he not going to do it. He, she think, she probably think it's funny. Shorty just mad. Like, okay, he had you waiting. He's still paying for your food. It's different if he decided not to pay for your food and that y'all split on it. That's different. You are a pauper. You are a pauper on the street corner with a sign up that says, oh, I made so many mistakes in my life. Now I have a child. I need money. What woman in a right mind would wait an hour and a half at a restaurant and then the first thing that you think about when you sit down and you get the meal is getting extra meals for your children at home. Like, didn't you not think to cook for them before you left the house? Like, how does this even make sense? Maybe I'm tripping. Hold on, let's, let's keep on listening. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. Hold on, 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 hold on. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Why are you trying to bring two, please? What's in that, Kira? Why should I do that, Kira? Because you sitting right here on the day. I was late to the date. I was late to the date. You bring two orders. But I'm saying, why would I get why would I get her kids food? Why would I get her kids some food? They were they with their daddy. And he just said they with their daddy. Why is she not talking to the daddy to get something for them? Why are you making your date, someone that's not their father, pay for them? You are finessing, bro. That daddy should be feeding she him. Was waiting, she was you say you order a steak for your son. How old is he? He eight. He eight eating steak. He eating steak. Y'all eat? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I'm straight. I'm cool. Don't don't put that on my bill. Don't put that on me. Make sure you put aside a one stop as well. He 
Yo, can you? Yeah, you can pay for that. No, I'm not paying for all that. You gonna get her fired up in here? No, I'm about to go back in the kitchen. You got me messed up, man. I'm about to her right now. No, for real, I'm telling her right now. No, you got me. I'm not paying for that. No, I'm not. I'm not paying for this food. I'm not paying for this. Just as I was late. Just as I was late. I'm not paying for this. No, I'm not doing that. I'm about to go back in the kitchen. I'm going back to the. Oh my god, she said you couldn't take me at take me nowhere else and you still asked bro the entitlement bro I feel you mediocre I feel you I feel you not only are you entitled but you're ungrateful So you're gonna make him pay for more What if you what if you did the same than him at another another restaurant but oh my I, I don't know I don't know the logic I don't know the logic there, there doesn't you know what I'm done me nowhere no, I'm not paying for this. I'm about to leave. You should forever and ever and ever close your damn legs if you intend on having other men besides the father of your children pay for your children. It is not his responsibility. It is now yours. But here goes the, I don't need no man. I'm independent woman mafia. A real man is a provider a real man would pay for her and her children bullshit how about this a real woman should wait until marriage before she gives her womb away what up now how about next time you cook for your children before you leave the house before you try to go find their next daddy questions comments concerns y'all already know what to do me over the tutorials and reviews and I'm just, I'm, out, out, man, I'm blown. <laughs> I'm so blown. It's just, it's just how, it's just sickening to me how entitled some of these women can be, bro. Some of these women, and just, just speaking on this video alone, because I know that there's, you know, men do it too, or da da da. I, you know, I don't want to hear. It. I'm talking about this video right now. He don't owe her anything besides to pay for her meal because he asked her, okay. It is not his child. I don't care what you got the idea of a real man. No, that's not his children. So, real man or not, that's that's not his responsibility. It's yours and their father's. Simple. But that's the end of the video. Super Black Finesse. Yo.